The last big game that Ubisoft released was Ghost Recon Breakpoint in October 2019 and that was a pretty big disaster with Ubisoft calling the sales very disappointing a few weeks after launch and well since then they haven't released a new game where they normally dominate the early year window. But no, everything is now pushed back to this fall and early 2021. So they've a lot riding on this upcoming Ubisoft Ford event on July 12th because this will be their chance to re-reveal the games they haven't talked about for almost a year now and show that they can still successfully launch big AAA games after one of their biggest flops ever. So it should be a big one and in this video I want to share my predictions including Assassin's Creed Valhalla gameplay, a release date for Watch Dogs Legion, brand new games, maybe something Prince of Persia related and some surprises. This episode 11 of the Sunday Your Game Show and of course at the end of the episode I will also answer one of your questions. So a like would be super appreciated and let's go. Before we get into it, I want to highlight the sponsor of this video, Surfshark, that helps you with online safety so no one can see your private messages, passwords and other sensitive data or simply know what you are doing online. And even when using public Wi-Fi, you will be safe with Surfshark too. But you can also use the VPN to access websites or watch TV shows that are normally blocked in your current region. I showed you the Lost Kingdom example already the previous time. This is an awesome Viking TV show that I've talked about before that really gets better as it goes. And it has an extra season that I cannot watch in the Netherlands. But by simply using the VPN and going to the US, refreshing my Netflix, I can immediately watch a season 4. But also YouTube videos that are sometimes blocked in your country can be watched by turning on a VPN. Surfshark works on all your devices and you also have an extension for Google Chrome so you can quickly turn the VPN on and off. And I have a special offer if you follow the link in the video description and use my code JORAPTOR you get 85% off plus 3 extra months for free. There's a 30 day money back guarantee so you can always get your money back if you are not satisfied. Again the link is in the video description. Thanks again to Surfshark for sponsoring the video and now let's get back into it. The last Watch Dogs Legion trailer that we ever got was at Gamescom last year. The game was of course revealed at E3 2019 and then we heard about the delay in October. But now according to many rumors the game is slated for the end of 2020. Like I showed you this tweet already during last week's episodes from Jason Schreier. Although he notes that COVID might change things. Although as we discussed the last week as well it's likely the Cyberpunk 2077 release date that is going to move Watch Dogs Legion. Already went in depth on this but I overall think that Ubisoft will announce when we can finally play Watch Dogs Legion and likely show a lot of new trailers and gameplay. What has changed since the last time we saw it and how does it look on the next gen consoles? But actually after last week's episode where we touched on the November 19th Cyberpunk date I've been thinking more about it and what if Assassin's Creed Valhalla takes the November spot instead and then Watch Dogs Legion launches in early October, a very typical Ubisoft launch window. Like Legion has been in development for way longer than Valhalla so it might not need the extra month while Valhalla could likely use all the extra time it can get because Ubisoft did lose some weeks of production thanks to Covid that had all the developers of course work from home. Home. And actually Valhalla might be able to take on Cyberpunk in terms of status and sales like Valhalla had the biggest reveal for a Ubisoft game ever and I also saw an insane amount of excitement on my videos something I've never really seen before like really thanks for the support. And to make it more interesting I asked my Twitter followers if they would get Assassin's Creed Valhalla, Cyberpunk or both at launch if both games released in the same week. And the results are pretty interesting. So sure my followers might lean more towards Assassin's Creed. But I still think this shows you that Ubisoft might not lose that much from releasing close to CD Projekt Red's Juggernaut. While of course Watch Dogs being a more similar game to Cyberpunk will not really stand a chance. Let's have our fingers crossed that we have some good time between those big open world titles. Although I expect the worst. 
and of course let me know what you would buy at launch if both released in the same week in the comments down below. So before I talk more about my SS Creed Valhalla predictions, I first want to quickly touch on some other games that we will likely see there. Because they want to release a new Just Dance game, so it's always part of their E3 press conferences, I would not be surprised if we saw it here too. We got Roller Champions, that free to play Rocket League style sports game that was also announced last year. There was actually an alpha recently, so we will likely hear more about the launch and the beta or something like that during this event. I played it and actually quite like it, I think it could be fun. And I'm playing the Tom Clancy mobile game now too. And if you follow the channel, then you actually know that I like the mobile games that Ubisoft put out. Quite different from a ton of the other junk that is on the Google Play Store. They have been updating it a lot recently. So I would not be surprised if they said during the Ubisoft Ford event and it's out now. And yeah, I think that this is the only time that we will see Sam Fisher sadly. Like I do not expect a new Splinter Cell. I'm sure we will get some updates on live service games like Ghost Recon Breakpoint. The AI teammates should be launching in July. So... We will likely hear about that. Something on Rainbow Six Siege, The Division 2 and maybe For Honor like they had earlier this year a Prince of Persia event and that might not be everything we see regarding Prince of Persia this year. Because now as noted by Nayam or Marsh on Reddit as pointed out by Mystery Man on Twitter. So thanks for reaching out about this. Either way, it seems like Ubisoft has made a Prince of Persia Twitter account in May 2020. And that makes sense if they plan to announce something soon. Why we think it's a Ubisoft account is because if you ask for the password reset, you get like something that looks like an at Ubisoft.com email address. So that's very interesting indeed. And they also like put up a Watch Dogs Legion UK account in May of last year. And that was of course before the announcement of Watch Dogs Legion. I don't think it's like a new Prince of Persia game, but maybe a remake or a remaster or a mobile game like let's keep our expectations in check here i still believe it when i see it but i just don't hope anything so then we can only be happy when something gets shown i mean they also still want to launch the prince of persia vr room so maybe it's linked to that again keep your expectations in check for Assassin's Creed valhalla it's really simple they got to show gameplay Okay, maybe the fans furious over disappointing gameplay trailer is a little over the top. But yeah, they set the wrong expectations. And then of course we got this. I mean, it's still an awesome teaser trailer. But now we want the proper gameplay. As Squid Games usually get a cool walkthrough during E3. So I totally expect the same here. Like 7 or 8 minutes of footage showing multiple systems like the settlement, combat, hopefully the hidden blade in action. And something like that. I actually went in depth on this like full gameplay walkthrough prediction in episode 6 of the weekly Assassin's Creed Valhalla podcast, the Assassin's Cast. It is live on any podcast service, so just search Assassin's Cast and you should find it. I will also put a download link in the description. But yeah, overall, I think female Eivor will finally be shown. We already actually got a leak of that, so like this sticker was put up on the merchandise page. And then removed. Like I want to see some actual gameplay. I think we will get it here. But overall I think they will still focus on Mil Eivor. And I would not be surprised if Magnus Brune. Like the voice actor for Mil Eivor. Will maybe show up during this presentation. Like he's a famous actor from the Lost Kingdom TV show. So maybe they use him for the marketing as well. And then we see Yves Guimont. And we have one last thing and that big reveal will likely be the new Far Cry. I've said it multiple times already, made predictions back in January of this year. Said it even before that I think. But Ubisoft wants to launch this game in early 2021. So why not announce it now in July during your big summer E3 style event. Like it's really not a secret anymore that they have one big unannounced title for early 2021. And there are actually rumors right now thanks to GameReactor.dk that it will not be set in the US. And that they will officially reveal it 
during the upcoming Ubisoft Forward event. Rumors suggest that it's an exotic setting, so maybe similar to Far Cry 3, and the voice actor of Voss, of course, already hinted that he might return to the role at some point. I've made a ton of videos about Far Cry 5, and while I did see the flaws, I overall really enjoyed the game and I also really like New Dawn. So bring on this new Far Cry game, like really curious what the overall setting will be, if it will still be like an RPG or more like a regular shooter as Far Cry 5 was. Ubisoft of course has many big games that they haven't announced yet. Remember for example that that team at the Division Studio Massive is working on an Avatar game based on the James Cameron movies. And the long-awaited sequel is still slated for the end of next year, so why not launch a new game around that time too? Jason Schreier says he would be surprised if we did not saw this game during the Ubisoft Forward event, so there might be a chance. But overall, I think it's smarter and better for them to focus on the games they've already announced. Like, let's not forget Beyond Good and Evil 2 and Skull and Bones. What is going on with those games? I'm not even sure if we will see them during this Ubisoft Ford event. If I had to bet though, I would put my money on Beyond Good and Evil 2 of those two. Because I think that's a 2021 or early 2022 game. But yeah, that's just speculation. They have more imminent games as well, like Rainbow Six Quarantine, that should launch before April 2021. And I actually got reached out by Julian on Twitter. He says that he knows someone who works on that Rainbow Six co-op game, and that they might change the name due to the whole COVID situation. So that could actually be similar to Gods and Monsters. I did not forget that game, no, but Ubisoft basically already kind of confirmed that it will not be at this Ubisoft Forward event. Because Kotaku noted this in their article, and then Ubisoft really clarified that the end of the summer that they communicated doesn't mean the Ubisoft Forward event in July. I will, by the way, do a video on that game pretty, pretty soon, kind of give you an update of what is going on. But yeah, it doesn't seem to be at this Ubisoft Forward event. And your predictions are more than welcome in the comments down below and you can also ask me a question there and then I might answer it in a future Sunday video. I got this one from Tight Crowded TV recently. Will you be doing playthrough videos of AZ Valhalla, Cyberpunk, Ghost of Tsushima and more or will you just be doing tips and tricks videos? So my philosophy always with content is that I want to make the content that I would watch myself as well. And normally I would not really watch gameplay videos. I do think though that it's always cool to try different things. Uh, like apart from the things that I usually do. So totally expect like when Valhalla finally reveals gameplay. That I will like post the raw footage for you to watch as well. Because I would watch that myself too. Like I'm curious what it feels or what it looks like to play that game. But when games come out... I usually try to stick to tips and tricks content because I also feel that, especially with single player games that I mostly cover, you want to experience that for yourself, right? So why do you want to see me like play through the game when you can do it yourself as well? So I'm always open for feedback. I think it's cooler to then like stream maybe my playthrough instead of like doing part one and part two. But overall, I will just stick to my regular heavily edited tips and tricks and news update videos. So, totally subscribe for that. July is going to be insane with Ghost of Tsushima, the Ubisoft Forward event, Xbox will do an event as well. It's going to be awesome. So, subscribe to miss nothing. I will be live reacting to the Ubisoft Forward event, of course, as well. It's gonna be good. And, um, yeah, like the video to support the channel. Again, the Assassin's Cast is up right now. Totally give it a listen if you want to learn more about my prediction for Valhalla gameplay. Thanks again to Surfshark for sponsoring the video. Check it out via the link in the description. And of course, you can also watch my previous video, the previous Sunday Your Game Show, on why Ubisoft is not happy with the Cyberpunk release date. For now though, I will speak to you next time. Have a great week and goodbye.